Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Newark. Not yet, I guess. <laughs> hello, everybody. Let's, uh, let's give the world a big hello from Newark, because we're live on YouTube and Top Rank's uh, ESPN Plus station right now. My name is Carl Moretti, uh, Vice President for Top Rank Boxing. Welcome to everybody for this special event that we're announcing today for September 23rd for the return of uh, we know who, Newark's favorite son, Shakur Stevenson. Uh, the show will be live on ESPN and ESPN Plus. And obviously, before you get to the main event, which is Shakur, we have some other young, talented fighters. I just want them to say, uh, just say hello to them and welcome them to New Jersey. First up, he's in Vegas now, but he's originally from New York, so we're going to welcome Floyd Diaz. Uh, Shakur's Olympic buddy from Norfolk, Virginia, who'll be bringing up uh, a bunch of people as well, Keyshawn Davis. Behind me, we got from Queens, New York, he'll be bringing his people over. Jahi Tucker. And a kid that's really taken on a, you know, a whole different world here in New York and New Jersey. He's from Brownsville, but he's gonna show Jersey some love when he brings his people over. Shushu Carrington. Um, obviously the reason we're here, uh, you know, for the, one of the best fighters in the world. So we're gonna roll some video of him and I'd like to bring him up right after the video. Jeff? All right, here he is. Let me bring him up. Newark's own and his trainer and his grandfather, Wally Moses, and the unified champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson. Get Shakur's mic on. Yo, yo, nah. All right, do it from here. <laughs> Just say hello. <laughs> yo, what's up, everybody? <laughs> hey, I'm happy to be here. Um, about to turn up for y'all uh, September 23rd, and we about to put on the show. That's it. Okay, good. And then I'll bring you up later. He'll be back later. Don't worry for the comments. Um, we wouldn't be here without the assistance of obviously Prudential Center and their staff for putting this event and obviously uh, when fight night comes around. Let me bring up the VP of Sports Properties and Special Events at the Prudential Center who would like to just say a few words for, on behalf of everybody, Mr. Dylan Wangill. Hey, thank you, Carl. Uh, on behalf of everyone at Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment and the Prudential Center, including our managing partners, Josh Harris and David Blitzer, our CEO, Tad Brown, our president, Jake Reynolds, and our EVP of entertainment programming, Sean Seda. I would like to extend our sincere gratitude for hosting this historic homecoming for Shakur and this world championship fight. Special thanks to our world-class partners at Top Rank, led by founder and CEO and International Boxing Hall of Famer, Bob Arum, and his tremendous staff. 
as well as the team at ESPN for showcasing Newark to a global audience. Once again, thank you, Carl. This means so much to us. We would also like to thank for joining us today, Newark Mayor Roz Baraka. <laughs> New Seton Hall University men's college basketball head coach, Shaheen Holloway. and New Jersey Devils star defenseman Dougie Hamilton. Thank you again for coming out today. We have a few other very special guests, some youth groups, the students of Newark area boxing coach Nasir Graham, as well as various members of the Devils Youth Foundation, all in attendance for today's press conference to properly welcome home our hometown hero, Shakur Stevenson. Professional boxing has thrived in New Jersey since the late 19th century. Among the boxing greats to compete in the Garden State in the early days were Bob Fitzsimmons, Joe Gans, and Gentleman Jim Corbett. Our state's boxing legacy grew with appearances from the likes of Larry Holmes, Pernell Whitaker, Roberto Duran, Bernard Hopkins, George Foreman, Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, and of course, Mike Tyson. But none of those legends called Newark home. On September 23rd, the boxing world turns its attention to Prudential Center as Newark's own Shakur Stevenson returns home to defend his unified junior lightweight world championship belts against the 2016 Olympic gold medalist from Brazil, Hobson Consicao. As a venue, we are extremely proud and excited to host such a tremendous event and could not imagine having a better representative of the great city of Newark than Shakur. Shakur, we are all looking forward to witnessing your performance on September 23rd and we hope to become your home for the World Championship fights for many years to come. Prudential Center would also like to welcome the great talent which will drive the build up to this epic main event, 2020 USA silver medalist Keyshawn Davis, Bruce Carrington, Jahai Tucker, and Floyd Diaz are four of the best prospects in boxing who will one day be headlining their own cards. Fans will want to arrive early to catch this very talented group of athletes. Although this venue annually hosts over 175 events across uh, sports, concerts, family entertainment, everyone here knows there's nothing quite like fight night. There's nothing like world championship boxing. Once again, on behalf of everyone at Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment and Prudential Center, I'd like to thank our partners at Top Rank, ESPN, the New Jersey Athletic Control Board, the Greater Newark Convention and Visitors Bureau, as well as all the media covering this marquee event. This event promises to be an electrifying and memorable night of professional boxing. We'll see you all here on Friday, September 23rd. Thank you. So the last time Shakur fought in New York, we went through about three different opponents to finally somebody who would show up and challenge him. And this time, we don't have to worry about that. Hobson Consacao won a gold medal in Brazil in the Olympics. We sent him the contract. He signed it. He says, if I have to win a world title in Newark, then that's what I have to do. He plans on bringing half of the Ironbound section and Ferry Street out with him, which is fine with us. The more people, the better. So let me roll a little video. Since he's not in the country yet, he'll be here in uh, late August. You can take a look at Robus and Consacao. Shakur Stevenson, the champion, has a respect, he's an excellent athlete, but our path is moving. E só existirá um campeão, eu, Robson Conceição, garanto a melhor performance da minha vida. Será uma grande luta, um grande combate contra um grande campeão. Então, tenho que me preparar muito, porque será a luta do ano. E tenho certeza que darei um grande espetáculo para o público e todos que acreditam em mim, todos que estão torcendo, e para o meu público brasileiro, que não desiste nunca. I have no idea what he said, but sounds like he's coming to bring his A game, and he'll need it, but that's all good with that. Um, I'd just like to bring up a couple of people just to say a few words. Obviously, I've known this man for at least five or six years. Uh, New Jersey boxing doesn't exist without him. He's in the International Boxing Hall of Fame as a referee. If you don't believe it, just look at the ring on his finger, Commissioner Larry Hazard. Thank you very much, Carl. I'll be very brief. This is a exciting time for us to 
have Newark's favorite son from the boxing world, Shakur Stevens, coming home. We've been trying to get him here for I don't know how long, Carl. But this is great. Newark is a boxing town. There have been many great fighters to come out of Newark, but we've had very few world champions. By the way, Marvin Hagler was born and yep. spent most of his young years here in Newark. But the only difference between Marvin and Shakur, Marvin didn't tell people that he was from Newark. Shakur wears it on his trunks and he wears it in his heart. That's why he's different. So we're very proud. We're very proud of Shakur. We're very, very proud of Shakur. He is a real Norker. And we know on September 23rd, he's not going to disappoint us, but it's not going to be a cakewalk, Shakur. We know that. So everybody come on out and give Shakur your support. I'm glad to see our great mayor here today, who's always been supportive of our sport. As a matter of fact, I was just reiterating and reminding the mayor when he came in. Several years ago, years ago, I went to him when he was a principal at my old alma mater, Central High School, not the new school, the one on High Street. And I told him, I said, Mr. Mayor, I would like to uh, establish a boxing gym in the school. It was done. It was done within a week or so. And Central High School, Mayor Raz Baraka, it was the only high school in the country that had a boxing gym. So Newark is all boxing. So come on out, give Shakur your support on the 23rd of September, and hopefully we know he's gonna not support it. Thank you, Larry. Speaking of which, let me bring him up. He'll be the host uh, that whole week for us at a lot of events around town, the mayor of uh, Newark, Ros Baraka. Just thank everybody for being here. Just want to reiterate some of the things that uh, uh, Larry has said, who is a uh, a great person, an incredible uh, uh, person in our city. Many folks look up, look up to him in the boxing, uh, you know, who started their boxing careers and all of the boxing events that we have in the city of Newark. Nasir Graham, who still does those. Just have to disagree with the brother one time. I never did this in history. Got to disagree one time today. Shakur Stevenson is going to eat this guy's lunch. <laughs> so I, I, I had to say that. Um, I'm, I'm extremely proud. Uh, of Shakur, ex extremely proud. Uh, as was said, he always has Newark, you know, on his heart, on his uniform, whenever he comes out. And that's important for us because Newark has been an underdog for a very long time. And uh, every time somebody get an opportunity to say something negative about Newark, they take advantage of that over and over and over again. And we don't often get people who come out of this city who walk around the world and say, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. And I tell young people all the time, they always, I want to rep my hood. Well, the best way to rep it is go do something great and then tell people you're from Newark. And that's what Shakur Stevenson does all of the time. So uh, I've been here before and watched him fight too. So he's going to win again, and I'm going to be here to win. Watch him win, and when he wins, we win. So thank you. Thank you, Wali, for all the work you do in the city too as well. God bless you, brother. Y'all keep winning, man. Thank you. We're going to do a uh, quick photo op here with the lead defenseman for the New Jersey Devils. Um, what I never understood, and maybe we can ask him, is when these guys fight, they take their gloves off. When Shakur fights, he puts his gloves on. So we just went, say hello to Dougie Taylor from the Ju New Jersey Devils. <laughs>
sure we have coach coming in. Okay, just hold on one sec. Let Coach get in the end there. Okay, um, before we move on, I just want to introduce someone really special. I've seen this guy hoop it up since he was in high school in Elizabeth. What I want to say is we got kids from New York, New Jersey, tri-state area, and when other promoters and all ask us, you sure you want to put them in with this guy? He may be too tough or too strong. Well, that's who we are. That's what we do. These kids, that's what we do. Let me just bring him up, say a few words, if you will, and just say hello. He won't. One of the best young coaches in college basketball from Seton Hall, Shaheen Holloway. This is not about me. This is about these guys right here, man. Nork, what's good? What's, what's good, Nork? Shakur, let's bring it home, baby. All right, Newark, the reason why we're here. First, let me bring up his trainer and his granddad, who really architects this whole fight plan and game plan all the time. He's from Newark as well, Wally Moses. I want to say thank you for everybody for coming out and supporting Shakur. And uh, a lot of you have watched what we went through right here in the city of Newark. You know, watch the struggles that we went through and we went through every day. Now, while I got a lot of you guys out here willing to commit and willing to give out and help out, I'm going to ask you to. Now, we started a program called Stevenson Moses Boxer for Life. And it really represents the kids from Newark and it represents Shakur. Okay? I just want to let each one of you know that Failure is no option for you, right? I want to let each and every one of you, your destiny is tied into your desire, your desire to be successful, not at any cost, but at every cost. And I've watched a lot of you kids here come up in the city of Newark. I've seen you persevere and go through everything. Now we have some great leadership in our city and our town. We have some businessmen that are willing to give back as well as top rank, prudential. So while I'm here and I have this opportunity, I'm going to ask you not to give us a Band-Aid, but give us a solution. Give us something that's going to really generate and take our kids to the next level. So like I said, we had a boxing program that Shakur initiated because he didn't want to see anyone come through the struggles like he did. So boxing is, you know, we call it boxing for life because it's not just boxing, but boxing gives you the tools to your work ethic, your perseverance, your dedication, the tools that you need in the struggles of life. So what we want to do is we want to magnify the efforts and the thing that Shakur does, and as well as the kids in the city of Newark, and let's bring them to the forefront because they are our future. Thank you. So, like as I mentioned earlier,
Corps Fort here in July of 2019. He now returns as a two-time world champion, a unified 130-pound champion. He's on the list of everybody's pound for pound, which he should be. Um, he's one of the best fighters in the world. And when all of us travel and you run into somebody and they say, well, where are you from? We say Jersey, and they say, what exit? And we say, well, you know what? That's just gonna change soon. Oh, that's the hometown of Shakur Stevenson. We know he's from Jersey, because that's how far this kid's gonna go. And he's not even close to his prime. Let me bring up one of the best fighters in the world, Newark's own Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, I want to start off by um, acknowledging some of the fighters on the stage. I feel like um, we got to acknowledge some of these fighters. I feel like they uh, gr all great fighters, and you got to get them their credit, too. So um, make sure that y'all come out to support all of them, from Cash Flow to Keyshawn to Shushu to Jaha. Um, all great fighters. Uh, but for uh, all y'all kids, um, y'all got to keep, you know, trying to be great, trying to uh, strive to be better. And um, I, I want to be an example for y'all. I'm going to make sure that um, I do my part, and I'm going to come September 23rd in shape, ready to fight. And uh, I'm going to put on the show for, them, for the kids and for the city of Newark. And I want to give y'all a, a hell of a performance. So um, like I said, I'm going to do my part, and I'm going to come in shape. But as um, far as everybody, I appreciate y'all support. I'm um, locked in. And September 23rd, I'm going to put on the show. All right. Before we wrap it up, I just want to acknowledge the other fighters on the card because it's a full card. Uh, Pedro Diaz, just come on up. Say a few words about what it's like to fight in this card. Floyd Diaz, I'm sorry. <laughs> a little short. Got to fix the mic. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Um, it's Floyd Cash, Floyd Diaz. Um, I just want to make sure... I put on a show for everybody. I want to show everybody that, you know, I'm scary at 122, and it is what it is. You know, September the 23rd, me and my guys, we're going to put on a show. Jaha, you know, uh, Shushu, Keyshawn, and Shakur, we're going to put on a show. And, and that's just what it is, man. We're here to take over. Top rank, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right, as I mentioned, from uh, St. Albans, Queens, just going to take a quick try to, uh, train ride over with all his fans, Jahi Tucker. Hey, how y'all doing today? Um, my name is Jahai Tucker, September 23rd. Uh, I, got a, I got a good performance for y'all. My first time fighting in Jersey. I'm making a memorable one. Um, shout out all y'all. Shakoy, great fighter. You know, this is his hometown, so you know I got to come, and I got to come strong. So I'm going to be here September 23rd, all right? I'm going to see y'all. As I mentioned, uh, he's from 718 Brownsville. I know he's going to have some people coming over with him. Let me bring up Shushu Carrington. Newark, Newark, Newark. Where y'all at, man? Where y'all at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all in the building, man. And I know y'all going to be in the building September 23rd. Y'all know I'm bringing my peoples September 23rd. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put on the show. Big, big, big shout out to uh, all the boxers here. Floyd Cash, Floyd Diaz, he's in the building. Flashy Key, I like to call him Flashy Key. Keyshawn Davis, he's in the building. We got Jahad Tucker, he the man, he over here in the building. And then you got the man himself, Shakur Stevenson from Newark, New Jersey. Gonna put on the show. And then you know me as well. I'm gonna definitely put on the show too. Y'all see y'all, September, uh, September 23rd. All right, and fighting in the co-feature that night, he was also an Olympic silver medalist. Uh, he's doing his own thing too. We know 757 down in Norfolk is going to bring up some people. One day he'll be headlining down there. Can't wait for that. Keyshawn Davis. Man, what's up, everybody? What's up? Um, <laughs> yeah, man, as y'all know, um, I feel like Top Rank got the best prospects in the game. And this is definitely one of the cards to watch. As y'all know, we got Floyd Diaz, Shushu, um, my boy Jaha, and then me on the card, Shakur is finishing off. I feel like this is gonna be another Oscar Valdez type of a night, you know? I feel like this is gonna be another Atlanta Jamel Harris 
Jamel, Jam Shakur versus Jamel and Heron fight right here. I feel like this fight gonna be about six rounds right here, but not only the main event, I feel like the undercards gonna, the undercards, we gonna put on a spectacular performance too. I don't really see none of us going our entire rounds because I feel like we should be getting them stoppages that night. And um, when it comes to me, the businessman gonna do what he do, man, you know. <laughs> I've been putting on great performances ever since y'all been seeing me fight. You feel me? So um, I see my opponent fight July 15th, and I know what he coming with. Um, he know what I'm coming with, and just know I'm going to have fun in that ring. And, um, yeah, we're going to take our time with this one. So tune in. September 23rd, we're going to have fun. Keyshawn going to, you know, warm the stage up for Shakur. Shakur going to end the night off just like the Oscar Valdez. Let's get it. September 23rd. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Just as a reminder, tickets uh, go on sale today at 2 p.m., starting at $50, which is a lot more reasonable than another guy from New Jersey who's going to be here in 24 at his ticket prices. But uh, I appreciate everybody for coming out. Don't forget, September 23rd, let's show them what Newark is all about. Guys are going to come up here and take some photos for everybody, and if you want to talk to them, we'll go right ahead. Guys, thank you all. to my boy.